Ron Cranston, uh, now you've been married, have you been married 30 years yet? Uh, not yet. Close. Very close. 20, 29. Never gonna oh, make it. Those <laughs> Never gonna make it. Yeah. Good. Um, now, uh, in your book, you, you tell a story of uh, young love. I think you were on your honeymoon in Europe. <laughs> yes. And you were on a, was it, you were driving but on a train. We went to our travel agent to talk about this. We were mid-30s when we got married. And we knew that we wanted to start a family, so this was like it. We wanted this honeymoon to be really spectacular. <laughs> Spent five weeks in Europe, and it was all over. So we started in Switzerland. We were going to rent a car and then go to Italy. And the travel agent says, oh, by the way, instead of driving around the Alps up and over, you take a train. It's a flatbed car. It takes three cars bumper to bumper on a flatbed car. And then they put, you know, you, and then you go through the Alps. By the way, he says, wink, wink, there are three tunnels. The first tunnel is about five minutes. The second tunnel is about eight to ten minutes. The third tunnel is 50 minutes long. Oh. If you're a honeymooner, and I said, say no more. <laughs> this, this, I'll give you the old So I told my wife, and she exhaled and said, okay. <laughs> we, we actually, we're on the train. There's a, a van in front of us with a bunch of Italian families in front. And behind us, I mean, as close as you are, I can see the people behind us. Uh, two couples, two Italian couples. Uh, and so we, we start going and we go into the... And it's a massive experience, emotionally and physically. <laughs> and the wind is whipping through and it's pitch dark. You cannot see oh, anything. Wow. And it's, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. And we come out of the tunnel into the station, and I say to Robin, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> we go up, we start again, we go through the second. <laughs> Pitch dark, can't see anything. We come out of it, that's two. <laughs> and she's like, oh, God. <laughs> we start the third tunnel, wait till it's absolutely pitch dark. Here we go. <laughs> it's a small rental with a stick shift. And I'm, like, trying to get my trousers off. <laughs> She's trying to lower her chair. <laughs> and, I'm, and we can't see anything. You cannot see anything. So it's all by feel. <laughs> and it's like, oh, what's that? Awesome. And Amazing. one thing I learned for sure is that <laughs> never be completely nude when transferring from one seat over the stick shifter. <laughs> Keep your trousers on and, and, and do it afterward. And decant. But, you know. See, funny, I would recommend it, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, No, no, no. <laughs> So we are in flagrante, as they say, and uh, I don't know where to put my hands or something, and my wife is just, come on, just, you know. Now, what's happening is that my eyes are adjusting. I can see her profile. She's a beautiful woman. Love her with all my heart. And I can see her, and it's her pretty face, and it's great. And I think the eyes are, are getting... No. The eyes aren't getting used to total pitch black. What happened is that we were coming to a station. And we can... Boom! Sunlight! Everything! <laughs> I'm like this, right, on top of my head. And I can see the, the two couples, the Italian couples, in, in the car behind us with their wine. And they go, Oh, my God, I'm going to my God. And the women are going, Stop it, stop it. And, and, and my wife says those three words to you, who every husband wants to hear Get off me. <laughs> So I get off, the Italian family, the, the grandmother's turning the heads of the children, <laughs> and I'm struggling to put my trousers back on. And, and I never found out, we never found out, if this was a gag, if he would, if this travel agent did this on purpose, <laughs> knew all along it wasn't 50 minutes, it was more like 15. Oh, 15 minutes though, man. 15. <laughs>